When you live your life on the edge, that's when you feel most alive. At 200 miles per hour, there's no room for mistakes. One split second can change your life forever. Nothing can prepare you for when that moment comes. In the blink of an eye, it can all be taken from you. Growing up for me in Belfast, it was different to most young kids' normal lives. So obviously we had the, the troubles there at the time. To be away at the weekends and not getting sidelined or getting distracted with the gangs and, and the violence. Motorsport was a good thing for me, it kept me on an even keel. I knew that there was more to life than living in Belfast. I started taking motor racing more seriously, more focused, more dedicated. The opportunity came to go to England to race against the big boys and big teams. And I grabbed that opportunity with both my hands. At the end of that year, I won Macau, then I became British F3 world champion. With that staircase of success came the opportunity to have a meeting with the Lotus management for F1. Having signed that F1 contract, it was everything I ever wanted. Being in control of an F1 car at speed, to be following Senna, to be passing Mansell, to be challenging Alan Prost. There's no other sensation in the world that comes close. I was doing the job right. I was beating other drivers in a slower car. I had so much inner confidence, I knew I could become F1 World Champion. And then, through no fault of my own, everything just went dark. barrier at 176 miles per hour. The car exploded, broke in two. My internal organs were all damaged. My femur came out the side of my leg and I was lying on the ground, not breathing because I'd swallowed my tongue. I don't think the marshals at the time knew how to react. They're trying to feel my wrist for a pulse. I honestly do think they believed I was dead. I was lying on the circuit, suffocating for 11 and a half minutes. Sid Watkins, the medical delegate for the FIA, arrived on scene. He then got me stabilized, got me breathing again, so I could be transferred by our ambulance to the Seville Hospital in Spain. accident, it took everything from me. It took my income, my mental health and well-being, my mobility to ever walk right again. It took my dream of becoming an F1 world champion. But despite all of this, it never broke my spirit. Life can change unexpectedly in an instant. What the accident has taught me is you've got to try and savour every moment as if it's your last. I'm grateful every day for what I have. There's nobody better than myself who fully appreciates being alive. And I know in my heart of hearts, I'll never stop being a racing driver.